Hello, how are you doing today guys? I hope everyone doing well. Today in this video I will explain how we configure WHM and CBNL server. If you do not watch the previous uh, video about how we installed CBNL on the Rogue Linux. Today from the same server we go to the browser first. And through the browser, we will go to the uh, our IP address 98. Point, uh, just loading, you know. We go to the same IP address as you see, and we log on to the uh, our WHM server. As you see here, everything fine except this notification. It says a new version available to the cpanel we click on it and we go to the click to the upgrade and we will wait some time do not leave this page until the the process done because i tried to leave it before and got issue with the system you know or you can click open a new tab and keep this one download you know so keep this one download and go to the home page. As you see, we will go through the basic configuration, basic web host configuration. We will change something here, you know. We will change here uh, the name of the name servers. So I will show you how we will uh, create name server from the domain uh, provider. First, we need to type like ns1.mydomain, uh, any domain you would like, you know, ns1. Dot, like I have domain, I have like this domain 101 cs.net, as you see, you know, just copy on this here. As well as change ns2 you know we do not need more than two but for some reason we have to do four if you have two dedicated IV. i will show you that in advanced configuration later but now just change this one put like save as you see save save and type here we go to change now the host name host name change host name as you see and we go to the change host name the host name is very long we put anything before your domain let's say for me i put cl.101 the test domain cs.net as you see okay that's only you need to do anything specific thing you would like for your host name and your domain you know two word and that's it it takes some time and that will refresh your page with a new host name and later on i will show you how we install c like ssl on the host name so here it says you should like a properly added entity to your host name as you see we forget the connection we lost the connection i mean we will go to advance again i will put accept the risk again because the host name is change after that this is cl101 cs.net we have to put the entity to it just added entity as that like uh, like it says a record exists to this domain you know like we put a record for this domain you have to drink coffee you know to focus what uh, this is that says a lot of things going on this one until now uh, like upgrading things you know we go to the second thing you know as you see got a networking setting 
as you see and go to the not the yes change host name again and go to the network setup as you see go to the read like resolver configuration and put process as you see we have like a primary resolver like secondary and optional one we just copy contact your host provider to provide you all this information if you are with us you do not need all these we will take care of it so we have to put here 29 and we put this one you have to put like so i will show you one thing this one the the optional one put one dot one dot one dot one or eight dot eight dot eight dot eight for google uh, dns and this one is a cloud flare dns you know or if you have just only one, put the secondary one for Google and third one for Cloudflare and continue. As you see, we got a 3 DNS, you know, instead one. And the third thing I need to do in basic configuration, we go to the active, the backups. You know, I will active backups. Back, backup configuration. See, if you go to the, you can purchase this one five dollar per month, but for me, I don't need them. Enable and um, put because. If you have if you have good uh, specification in your server, choose this one. If you have like uh, eight gigabyte RAM or less, choose this one. Okay, because uh, this one is more faster. You know, as you see, it says all the safe information that changed since your last backup. Or this one it says save all your information using more disk space, but less time so to, like choose this one you know this one is composite is take uh, space you know use the space this one will take a lot of ROM you know if you serve for more than eight uh, gigabyte choose this one if less choose this one okay notify five percent and it depends what day you need like how many backup your days it's recommendation to choose all if you have a priority website on your server you know weekly monthly it's all because you have this one keep just two two backups like or yeah choose just like two backup the track okay and all like you see okay then as so all backup all, all backup all logs all choose all these be your account be your secure all be your everything and then your account and then secure directly choose this one you know so here the issue that's most important because we have not enough space is just 75 gigabyte by default cbnl uh, See when I'll do the roots, I mean uh, direction just 75. So we need to do something because the cPanel install in home, you know, it's not in roots. So we have to do something slash home, just put home like this and slash like that. Because if you do not do that, your server will down. That's most important, you know and choose this one too and everything done you know that's it we got the backup system run and we can 
an ad put additional like uh, destination but i will show you this configuration on the advanced configuration of whm is not in the basic thing you know so third thing we need to do in this video this things you know the initiate the quote but we do not work now on it until the until the upgrade done you know i cannot do it because when i do that i have to reboot the server so we will go back to it again okay third thing we need to do we need to do the update the preferences as you see here we are and release uh, things you know it says the in directly as you see the root is 61 so just choose home as you see and save it that's most important too because you will lose access to your server if the server down okay do not forget we go to the basic setting because we do not finish it we put email here okay it says contact information put your email one or more email here like info at ink host you know i have server email like dot net or anything you know dot net i have email like uh, whm at uh, oh yeah i will change it to whm at ink dot net whm like that and just copy we put second email here and an example for the do not reply to we can put the emails here but it's not like most important you know here the, the dedicated IP address that's just, it's required by default you do not play with that if you play with that you will cut issue you know for advanced configuration i will show you how we upgrade the ib address from ib to ib because because uh, we don't have ibv6 we do not need that and in another video for an advanced configuration i'll show you how we will remove this option because it's most important for web hosting company this one is the, the theme you know and that's it just save it you know it's not a lot thing but that's most important thing you know mm, we need to go to the you know, pump hulk as you see see it says the protection system is disabled we just enable it you know but for these things we have to go to the security advisor in our section okay i will do this one we go to the security at the security center we go to security advisor as you see security advisor and just do the like a scan what thing you have to do and what thing it's already done the green thing is verified is good so see bulk porous protection is enabled by default you know so just wait some time to see what we you need to do you know, i'll show you how we will configure all these things you know just wait some time until this even our security advisor check so we got three things you know this one for hh uh, ssh i mean this one for a secure all on this one for uh, ch root i'll show you everything i will fix it for you you know yeah we got all the three issues is, is easy issues they fix all the things you know make it easy for us 
first thing we need to go to this file to fix the firewall issue first you know take this one copy paste as you see and open another windows and terminal or go to the terminal as you do here or or we go to terminal from here see just open another page keep this one open and we go to the terminal as you see we will do nano nano and we paste this direction we got this file you know so what we will do we will copy the the um, the instruction as you see bend address this one this one is most important for firewall you know we put it anywhere i will put this one here you know just paste and control x yes enter you know okay we'll got it here again and we will do the another thing this one i'll show you is it's fixed you know the another thing enable the root mode in php thing so this extension just copy this one and go to the to ea the apache ea4 yeah and hit yes I mean, hit custom things. Uh, hit custom, yeah, as you see. Go to the extension. And advanced videos, I will show you how we will do. So it says module, I think yeah, it's module, BHP module is not BHP extension. Yes, it says enabled and installed. Some some time is not installed, but for this issue, we go to the Twix setting. You know, if not enabled, just enable it and hit next. Okay. So on this uh, thing, copy this one and just search for the Jilshul. You know, and Twix. As you see, yeah, just put it, yes, this one, put it on, I mean, and save. That's, we fixed second thing, or third thing, our last thing, you know. We need to um, change the, change the, the, it says, okay, change the SSH uh, port, you know. To num password to disallow anybody to access to the SSH. Okay, let's go to the terminal again. As you see, we go to the terminal. Okay, and we go to the nano again. We put nano, no, no, and hit. Put this one copy. We look into the. As you read here, we have to put this one, this thing without password. Do you see? Kobe. Or no. Okay. We just look into the thing case here. Click, 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 click. Okay. Yeah. Do you see this one? Address any okay just remove the hash and make it uh, on and put without password as you see best and control x yes enter and now we will have uh, like start running again the scanner is enable 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 coffee everything done there is uh, a lot uh, advanced configuration we can go with but you know with with another video plus and not least <laughs> the update is done as you see then we will do another thing and 
will be the last thing and watch me in other videos hit subscribe like if you got any knowledge and any information and thank you for watching this video so last thing we go to the basic configuration we go to the initiate quote and just put a process and click here to reboot the server and everything will be done everything done see you in next video